Welcome back to Good Morning Live. Dr. K joining me this morning from Dr. K's Pet Clinic in Nampa, Idaho. Of course, 4th of July is tomorrow. Lots of people are going to be outside. Maybe you shouldn't be, though, with your pets. So, Dr. K, what are the main things we want to focus on as the fireworks shows are about to start? Probably one thing is make sure if you, your pet does have pet ID on it, mm -hmm. either the form of a microchip or a name tag, because no matter, despite all the precautions you can take, we always have a bunch of dogs that get loose. And the next day or two or three or four, we get calls saying, we found this dog with such and such rabies tag number, and we can look that up, um, rabies tags number, if they're from our clinic, or if um, there's anything that can happen. Uh, they, they just get loose. We got licenses, we can track them with that, and name tags, whatever. Make sure they're identified. Okay, I, I know we talk about this every year before the 4th of July when there's fireworks. It, isn't the, the couple days after the 4th of July some of the busiest days for, for um, kennels, things like that? Right. Shelters, I should yeah, say. Yeah, they're all look. They're, they're finding all these dogs yeah. because some dogs they just go berserk with the sound of the firecrackers and the and the fireworks. And this year is especially bad because you've got it's like the fourth of July is in the middle of the week, right, so yeah. you're going to get on both sides, you know. So we've already had a number of people ca call in for tranquilizers when they know their pet can't handle it, and okay. and we uh, prescribe those to them. And tranquilizers completely safe, right? Cr for the most part, usually they're gonna, you're going to get them from a veterinarian so we know what's safe and not safe. Okay, uh, anything else we need to focus on? Uh, mostly we're talking about dogs here. Even I know there's outdoor cats and they probably get spooked at, uh, as well. Uh, a little other things that we should focus on tomorrow night? Yeah, you want to make sure if it's really hot that I would personally just leave your dogs at home. But sure. some people take them and you want to make sure they have plenty of water mm -hmm. uh, available because they can get dehydrated. Yeah and you can get um, hyperthermia if they get overheated. You want to, obviously there's a lot of food around, mm -hmm. just don't leave it lying around because <laughs> your dog will eat it and we'll get into that pancreatitis, bad stomach uh, episode. <laughs> um, th there's always that. Um, use common sense things. Some, p some dogs, instead of being scared of fireworks, will attack them. Okay. I've seen them. That's worse. You know, <laughs> so, and they'll go and they'll try to bite the ones, especially the ones that swirl like this. They just they don't like it, they just try to bite, and that's not obviously not good either. Yeah, and I know you mentioned uh, real quick, just because it is the 4th of July, it's a holiday, keep the pets away from alcohol, obviously. Correct. And I, I know we've talked about this in the past, but it always leads to a, a chuckle or two on, on our segment. But yeah, keep the alcohol away from your pets, <laughs> all right? And it is going to be very hot tomorrow.